something fishy. I need it from his mouth. Sometimes all you need is a little treat. Hello everyone, welcome back to Food for Thought at Karan, where we get to know some of the best food options on campus. I'm your host Manish and this is my final episode. Let's see what's on offer to cheer me up. What is a little trick to me? If anything has not gone the way that I wanted it to be, it's always food that's getting me back. It's like, ah, come back. Manish, what has been your favorite moment of the season? So I would say a favorite and regretful was that I was trying to clean my hands with a sanitizer and I pushed the sanitizer. It came out, but it went straight into co-host. Sean, I didn't mean to do it. I'm sorry. So the first option that they've got is hot chips from Simply Delicious. Hmm. There's like a little salt on them, which blends in really perfectly. And these are kind of chips that I really like. Crunchiness is there, and you still have the little prayer in there, which like, which is really soft, which just melts in your mouth afterwards. Back home, uh, hot chips are super popular. Like every other street, you'll see these stalls selling these chips with uh, a lot of varieties of masalas, or like spices. They all just taste really good. You guys have submitted some questions for me. Let's get on to them. Let's choose something randomly. How has university life changed your perspective on future and your career goals? Man, that's a lot thoughtful than I thought. After coming to Australia, I've been exposed to a lot of opportunities, which is like side job. And I kind of think now that even if I do a nine to five, I'll definitely go for those jobs as well. Other than that, everything is pretty much the same. So our next option is Pockies from Gmart. You'll always see one of these packs always in my backpack. Let's go with the chocolate first. Hmm. Good stuff. I think I need to stop. <laughs> Perfect thing to have after you catch something savory or just in between your classes or anything like that. But yeah, this is really good. Let's move on with the cookies and cream. Really small chunks of Oreo in there, but let's see how it goes. Hmm. Interesting. It's good as well. I just love eating these. The cream flavor is just too good. Not too sweet, not too biscuity, but this is just on point. It's time for the questions. put my sword back. Let's go for another question. Please be nice with me. Please. <laughs> Out of all the food that you've tried, which one has been your favorite? From all the 20 options that I've tried, I think I would go for like dog bookie or something like that. That was really good. And in snakes, I would just go with these ones. These ones I would just. The third option that we have is Tayaki from Gil Cafe Library. Something fishy. I need it from his mouth. Hmm. There's something that you would have in breakfast. This paste that is inside of this thing is like sweet. It's really nice, like a unique combination of like a red bean paste and dough and then you fry it all together. I don't think I've ever eaten something like this. Just really unique. Oh, the question box is again gone. So I wonder where that is. I mean, there's something in here. It's back again. Hey. What's a skill or lesson you have learned outside classroom? It's probably time management. All the jobs that I've done in here or like before this, they've always taught me time management and if I get assignment, rather than starting it in like a day before the submission date, I would rather do it in chunks. That really helps. So the fourth option that we have today is a creme brulee cinnamon scroll from Cinnamon. It's like some creme brulee on top of a bun. Let's taste it and see how it goes. Hmm. Definitely living up to their mark of cinnamon. There's a lot of cinnamon in this thing, in a good way. There's like good amount of cinnamon in there. Bun is really soft. The kind of texture that it has, it's, it's really nice, yeah. The texture of creme brulee is like a little less thick than a custard, but a little more thicker than a cream. This is really a full dish in itself. And once you have this, I don't think you're gonna need anything else. Oh, what's that happening? Hey, the box appears again. I think this is a sign from nature that we're doing a lightning round. Would you rather only eat food that is too hot or too cold for a month? Too hot. What's your favorite desert? Donuts. Every week, I go for a hunt on different parts of like supermarkets and different parts of the city to get the best, best donut available. Favorite cuisine? South Asian, I would say. Pakistani plus Indian mix. Yeah. Favorite vegetable? Paneer. I don't think it's a vegetable. Nah, it doesn't count as vegetable. Eggplant? Time for the final question. Yes, sir. What food could you not live without? Do I even need to answer that? I mean, it's pretty much simple, like biryani, that's it. All right, so final thoughts. From all the little treats that we had today, I would say Pockies is my favorite. I really love Pockies, any day. I'm kind of a little emotional. 
because it's like final episode. I would say this was really a fun ride. Yeah. And whichever episode you like, please do let me know in the comments or like any moment that you liked. Thank you for watching my final episode of Food Without It Curry. I'll see you in the blooper reel. If you want to see me more, you can head on to my YouTube channel. It is same as my Instagram, Manish underscore Pardeep. Why not?